Hi, everyone. Uh, I just took an interview uh, by another YouTube channel. So, you know, I'm dressed nice and I've got the camera set up. So I thought I just I should just do another episode. And also, uh, I want I want you to know that I don't I don't do things scripted. I uh, I lectured in a uh, university, Shanghai Theater Academy, for eight years. So I I taught I taught video games for eight years. Um, so I'm used to. I used to do things unscripted, I guess. The downside is uh, sometimes the conversation is going in all directions. Um, okay, so today, there's going to be a direction. Um, I'm going to declare that Game 5 is dead. And I would say this is the beginning of Web3 games. Uh, why do I say Game 5 is dead? Well, I think the last nail in the coffin was Axe Infinity. I don't think there's going to be another Game 5 project more successful than Axe Infinity. Axe Infinity, when people woke up from the dream, um, I, I don't think we're gonna find that dream back. Um, long story short, the reason I would say that is because I feel that they're all Ponzi. They're all Ponzi. You know why a lot of Game 5 projects, they don't allow bots? You know, normal video games, they have bots. Some, some, even, some video games actually have built-in bots, so you don't have to do everything by yourself. You know, auto-pathfinding, auto-collecting, auto-harvesting, auto-mining, auto-fighting. A lot of video games have bots, so I was very curious when I first entered this space, beginning of this year, I noticed a lot of projects say, no bots, no bots allowed. If you pay attention to the end user, uh, uh, end user licensing agreement, EULA, or terms of use, you will see, go to a lot of projects that you, that you are paying attention where you're participating in, you will see no bots allowed. Why is that? And then I learned that a lot of games, they reward you for being in the game. Just being in the game. You just go into the game and go here, do there, do this. Feel it finish in, uh, your daily quest and you get money. Well, that's weird. Aren't you suspicious every time when people give you free money? You're not creating any real value in the world. So they are paying you money just for you to show up. Well, you know, in video game industry, we have seen this before. When you pay people to show up, that means the game is not fun. Otherwise, you don't have to pay people. People pay you to show up. So why do they want to pay people to show up? Because that's a way of enticing users to stay in the app. Um, where does the money come from? I asked enough people, I got two answers. The first answer is, well, in NFT games, people have to pay before they enter the game. So they take the money from the new users and they give it to the old users. Well, that sounds weird, right? Um, what if there are no more new users? That's a trouble. That's a problem, right? The second money comes from the appreciation of tokens. That's also weird because that's kind of, that's not the game, you know? That's like another thing going on by itself. Speculation. So what happens in a bear market when the token is not appreciating? It's depreciating. Well, then you run, um, run out of money to give to the old players. Then the whole thing collapsed. No new players. The token drops to nothing. It's a dead spiral. That happens to almost every project. 
That's why I think M5 is dead. I thought about how to save it, how to fix it, how to make the model work. But to be honest with you, I think the whole structure is a leaky bucket. Why do I call it a leaky bucket? Imagine there's a water bucket and it's full of holes. So it no, doesn't matter how, many, how much water you pour, put into the bucket, eventually it's gonna drain. It's just gonna leak all over the place. Nothing will be left. So I don't think I can fix it. I don't think I can repair it because I think it's Ponzi. You know, some people may say, oh, Monty, you're saying Ponzi like it's a bad thing. Well, if you are, you are the person, I don't I hope, I hope you heard of uh, the term musical chair, you know? If you're the person with no chair when the music stops, well, that's kind of bad, right? Some people put a lot of their own savings into these projects. Um, karma bites. So, uh, yeah, I don't like Ponzi. See, and the reason I don't like it, not because it's evil. I mean, that's one of the reasons, but it's because they're better business model that's legal and moral, not in, immoral. You know, they're business models that are ethical and fair and everybody understands. And I thought about it for a long time. And sometimes in March or April, or maybe past April, it came to me, free to play. Free to play model in game industry is legal, it's moral for the most part, some people don't like it. They think games should be pure fun. Money should not be involved. You should not pay to win. I think some people may argue differently. They think there are situations where we should allow people, players to pay to win. Let players decide, right? I think the problem only comes when you have players who want to win by skills and there are players who will grind to win and some people will pay to win. So if you put all of them together, you know, some of them are not going to be too happy. That you cannot please everybody. Uh, I think first thing is it's a win when you do something that's illegal. You know, don't try not to do things that's immoral. I don't want to preach. So um, And so that's, that's my thought on what Web3 should be. My, the Web3 should be just Web2 games plus decentralized storage, secured. And players can trade between themselves. They can trade items, they can trade uh, currencies, and they can lease items, they can rent items. They can hire other players to play for them. Obviously, in the beginning, that's not going to generate as much money as Ponzi, as GameFi. But, but, think about scale. Do you guys know how many people are playing GameFi games in the whole world? 200,000 people. If you're optimistic, 300,000 people. If you're pessimistic, 100,000 people. In this bear market, probably less than that. What is the number of players in the world? How's 5 billion? You can use, check, use Wikipedia to check. 5 billion. So, you don't need Ponzi to be uh, to have a successful business model. Just allow commerce, you know, innovative financial activities in, in, in video games. And, and you can be very successful financially. And, you know, video game business is bigger than movie industry and, and Hollywood combined. That's how big the industry is. So, yeah, I think uh, the 
the opportunistic, happy-go-lucky, trusting everybody time has passed because too many of us have been scammed. And so instead of having the crypto people taking charge and treating game industry like a vertical slice, I think it's time for video game industry professionals to take it back, to take back the charge. And Web3 games will be driven by video game industry. Blockchain will be a technology, will be an engine that's uh, facilitating video games. And I think that's fine. You know, blockchain doesn't have to take the driver's seat because at the end, the product is, is a video game. You know, it's not some source code. Um, so for Web3 games, the drivers are going to be back in the game industry. Let me tell you something else. A lot of VCs, especially crypto VCs, they hire people like me to help them look at proposals. I, right now I'm serving three, three VCs officially and one unofficially and help them look at uh, crypto games project proposals, they're asking for funding and metaverse projects. Uh, even big ones, even tier one VCs have video game industry professionals to look at video game, uh, Web3 game projects. So um, we ask questions like, why is this game fun? Why should players play your game? Qualify it. Why is it fun? Why is your graphics better? Why is the gameplay mechanism better? Well, how can you attract players to your game? I mean, the, the day where I'm going to make a metaverse and you get funding, that time has passed. VCs either have burned, gotten burned too much or they, they have been just too many bad actors um, taking the money and run, cash grabs. So uh, people are getting more and more serious now. Uh, now, if you think VCs just don't invest anymore, that's not true. That, that is not true. They're still investing. I know as a fact, they're still investing. They invest in good projects. They invest in projects that are solid, down to earth, well organized, making progress. The days that you just create a roadmap and blah, 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 and, and then you slowly drag your feet and disappear, slow rock ball, that's not gonna work anymore because we will assume you're going to do a slow, slow rock ball. So, uh, yeah, if you're a startup, use your real names. Don't use your, you know, anonymous or alias and you no, know, stop that. It's, it's, uh, this is not crypto space. This is game space. If you're making Web3 games, um, use your real name and hire professional game, uh, game developers and, uh, and, and they need to have made games before, and uh, they need to have real projects, uh, experience. They need to be able to finish the production on time, and the investment will come in trenches. It won't come all at once, uh, and you have to deliver. So I think everything will be more organized, and more formal, and uh, investors will hold the entrepreneurs accountable um, I think that's healthy and it's going to be this way because they have been too many scammers and that's, this is the only way for this, uh, industry to move forward. And, uh, if you're against it, that just means, um, you cherish your anonymity more then you want your projects to be successful. Yeah, and besides, uh, in game industry, you know, a lot of us know each other and it's helpful to know, okay, who's, who's on this project? And it's helpful to know 
that a capable person, responsible person is in charge of this project and they will put investors' money to good use. And if you're an investor, uh, you should work with, you should invest in responsible people and um, they will deliver and they will work hard for your investment money. And I think that's it. I talked about Web3 games. I talked about GameFi is dead. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, leave your comments be, uh, below. And uh, I hope you like this video. Thank you.